Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fit for the Call, the Encouragement Factory podcast. Today, I'm so excited. I have somebody that I think is not the ordinary, but the extraordinary. Uh, she is Miss D. Daniels, man, oh man. I don't want to go into too much detail, but let's just say there's no conviction for my addiction. She just got me by the, she got me like a fish on a hook. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Miss D. Daniels, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please, even though I said your name, could you just talk about who you are? Just a little something, something. Because I, I, I don't want to say everything. I want to, but I don't want to. I want you to do it. Well, first of all, thank you, Gary, for having me on the show. That's You're welcome. Thing. Now, as we've had a couple of conversations in the past, yes. right? So, um, you know, there's a lot that I could talk about. So yes. you want to be a little bit more specific. Well, you, you know, know, so Miss Daniels is a decorated lady. She has a, a voice like a Rolls Royce, I like if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smooth like that. You know what I mean? So uh, I, I'm going to talk about this one song that it's on replay and replay and replay. I want Jesus to walk with me. And I mean, I'd be dancing in the house. I'd be dancing. I even did a video with that song, my personal video, anyhow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just got hooked and then um, healed. I mean, these songs are very heartfelt songs. And it's something that you, you have to go and check it out. That's just two and there's many more. Well, let, let's tell everybody what, what, uh, what you're talking about. So yes, please um, do. It's uh, Gary's talking about um, my new CD that's going to be released on um, May 7. And uh, it's called The Promise. The Promise. And wow. The Promise is um, there are um, 14 tracks uh, on the CD. One, all original except uh, the one that Gary mentioned, I Want Jesus to Walk with Me, uh, yes. which is a traditional uh, song. Um, and the promise came to me, um, I like to uh, refer to it as a gift, yes. uh, a gift from spirit. At the time that these songs uh, came to me, I um, was going through um, recovery from having uh, breast cancer surgery. And um, uh, I was very, very much into meditating at that time. And I was doing it every day. And that was uh, one of the most wonderful things mm. that uh, happened to me. Um, I've, I've meditated uh, before, you know, but I never, you know, it's kind of off and on, you know, yeah. but um, had plenty of time, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I got into it, and this was actually at uh, the suggestion of a very um, uh, good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And um, I was doing what um, is called guided meditation. And okay. uh, that just simply means um, that you, you can go to YouTube, for example, which is actually what I did. Wow. And uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, guide for that I chose, her name is Lillian Eden, like the Garden of Eden. Wow. And she had, um, she has actually uh, just tons of guided meditations on various subjects. And uh, the first one that I picked, uh, because I said, okay, I just got to go and just, I don't know where to start, you know, I just picked mm -hmm. one. And the one I, I picked was called Meet Your Spirit Guide. Wow. Now, um, and um, yeah, that was very interesting. And to make a long story short, um, uh, every day, as I said, I would meditate. And uh, as I'm just there, these lyrics started just coming oh, wow. you know, and melodies and chord patterns. So it, it got so it, they, it started happening so fast each time that um, I had to take my my uh, my my iPhone in and put it on voice memo so I could remember, <laughs> you know, what, like what I fun. was hearing and so forth. And then when when I finished the meditation, I'd run up to my piano and and you know just try to write down play what I what I had uh, recorded. And um, I had a, a healing uh, experience 
down the line that was just incredible. Um, and um, uh, that's a whole other story, <laughs> maybe um, for another time. I don't know. Right. But anyway, uh, I had all these songs and I, I had enough probably to record, I don't know, three CDs, right? But uh, of course, uh, at the end of the wow. year, when everything was all done and, and I did have a divine healing, uh, I said, I got to I gotta record these because each wow. song yes. is like a message. Yes. And I knew very well um, that I was supposed to offer these mm. messages to whoever would listen to the world, whoever would listen wow. in hopes that my hope was that it would help them come through whatever they were going through. And you didn't have to have a disease, illness, you know, it could, it, any reason that you were not feeling love, loved, uplifted, inspired, yeah. creative, joyful, peaceful, free, right. any of that. If you weren't there, then yeah. uh, one of these songs, if not more than one, uh, my hope is that it will remind you mm -hmm. uh, of who you really are. My God. And um, yeah, so hence the promise. <laughs> you, you know, it's interesting that you use that word, the promise. Um, because that word, that, that resonates with me in a huge way. Mm -hmm. And what you just spoke about, it's very timely, extremely timely. And I can't even stress it enough that it has made an impact. On I'll start with me personally, but there's some people who are close to me who are going through some of the struggles that you went through. Mm -hmm. and, and they need to hear this. And it's not just them. It's for the, it's, it is a, for the world in so many ways. And it's interesting that you said it's not just for that, it could be something else, which the whole world is going through different circumstances right now. Yeah, Everybody's going through some kind of problem. Nobody's exempt from going through something right now. Right. So your music, the reason why you got lost in that music is because you were chosen for such time as this to release something like this. I believe so. Oh, I, I'm, I, I, I believe that we are all here for a reason, you know, right. no matter what our circumstances are, right. and that we have choice That's within right. those circumstances, you know, and, you know, uh, maybe we should, if you don't mind, Gary, maybe we should backtrack just a little bit. Because, Go ahead. Sure, you know, sure. I don't know who I am, what I do. Yeah, <laughs> you know? No, sure. sure. <laughs> you know, so uh, if... Um, I, I am a, a, a singer. I've been doing this for 40 years. Wow. And uh, I'm known uh, in different places around the world as um, a, a jazz singer, although my first music is gospel music. Yes. Uh, my stepfather uh, was a, a Baptist minister in Oakland, California. That's where I'm from originally. And um, so I grew up singing in the church because there there were uh, five kids and any black Baptist minister that had any kids, <laughs> at least one yes, of them that's true. <laughs> play piano yes, that's you right. know, or that's at right. least sing in the choir, you know, and we were singing in the choir. We were uh -huh. on the usher board. We was teaching Sunday school, all of uh -huh. that kind of stuff, you know, so uh -huh. it's, it's the typical preacher's kid story, right? That's right. Um, but when I was growing up, my passion, my passion was uh, art. So um, I, my degree is in art education, and, uh, but I've always sung, always. It's just something that you have a gift for and you just right. do, you know, and, and being right. a, a minister's kid, you know, you, that's what you're supposed to do, right? You're in church all the time. <laughs> and, um, you know, there, there, was, there was just a, a short period, I think when I was like maybe 13 or 14, that I said, oh man, I can't go to the movies on Sunday. You know, <laughs> I'm in church, all my, my friends are at the movies and things like that, you know. Yeah. But I tell you, that was just a passing uh, time in my life because um, the experience that I got um, not only musical, but my spirit being fed and developed yeah. Uh, was there, there? I can't put a price on that. You know, it is yeah. it is the foundation. That's of right. Me. You know, that's right. Me as a, a a singer, me as a, a human being on the planet. You know, me as that's a mother, right. me as a wife, me as a friend, and and all of that kind of stuff. It's the foundation, and I'm extremely 
Mm. Grateful. Hey, Great. come on. I could, <laughs> wow, I could oh, see. And I'll, I'll shout it out at the mountaintops. I don't care. Well, you well, know. Boy, well shout it out. <laughs> I sh- I'll shout it out. I don't, I don't care. You know, come on. So, and the older <laughs> I get, the less I care. <laughs> but oh, 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 so that's no. where I am, folks. <laughs> Anyhow, but, uh, it, you know, and um, one of the songs on the Promise CD is called yes. Love is the Answer. Mm. And that song, you Come know, it's it, to me, that's my truth. Love is the answer. Okay. Mm. And, you know, you look at everybody knows what's going on in the world today. Yes. It's yes. not just pandemic. It's not just racism. It's, mm-hmm. it's all kinds of stuff. It's poverty. Right. It's it's the, the environment. It's, you know, it's everything, you know. That's right. Um, so, uh, but when it comes to people to people, okay. Right. I kind of think that this, the world would be a totally different place if we just followed the golden rule. Yes. To me, that's the essence of, 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 of uh, a solution, you know. But anyway, so I digress and I, I'm sorry for that. So well, anyway, getting, getting back to, to my, you know, my, my background. So, so I, I actually taught in, um, art in one of the Seattle, Washington high schools right. for a year and a half. Well, actually it wasn't even a year and a half before I really realized that music was, was my your passion. Calling. Yeah. It was my true calling. So I quit teaching in the middle of the school year, which worked out just perfectly. And um, I joined a band and I never looked back. And that's, I've been blessed to do just music mm. all of my, my uh, career from the, the day I made that. Wow. Decision, you wow. Know, I, I am truly blessed. I get, well, if I can say that is so true. From, <laughs> because like you said, you know, you're talking about love. Well, in the Bible says love ties everything together. Not some things, everything. Everything. Love is the purpose. Love is the purpose. I've been getting this word. Love on purpose as long as you're on the surface. We yeah. all have a heart to love. Yeah. yeah. Right? If you care, share it. Yeah. And so, I mean, the world's a better place hearing your voice. I'm telling you, at least my opinion anyway. <laughs> my well, opinion. That counts. <laughs> that counts. I don't know, but I don't care. <laughs> but, you, it, you know, there is a message in your music. Whoa, what was that? Uh, sorry, my my. Um, sorry, I thought it was me. <laughs> no, no, it's it was me. Somebody was just messaging me. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So I had to turn there, it off. <laughs> there, there is a there is a message in your music because it's coming straight to your heart. That's not head music. No, it's not head music at all. That that is some that is passion, passion and action. That's the Holy Spirit that is working through you. You're talking about that meditation. I mean, like. You run to the piano or you have your eyes full. You just got to get this thing down because yeah. you don't want to miss that because yeah. it's like when the, when it comes down on you, if you don't put it down, write it or record it, yeah. you yeah. won't forget it. You, you lose it, yeah. <laughs> you lose so, it. One, one of the things I figured out, uh, Gary, um, actually, it, it, it was like a ton of, of uh, I was going to say bricks, <laughs> but mm. it was... Uh, 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 just a, a wonderful experience. Yeah. I was um, in 1992. Yeah. I was invited uh, for the first time to the uh, Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival, okay. which um, what is still is still going on, uh, and it was going on way before then. Uh-huh. But anyway, that was my first time there, and um, I had no idea exactly what it was, you know, a jazz festival. And I was thinking it was just a local thing yeah. until a week before when I received in the snail mail. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, back then there's no email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a computer. So, snail mail. You know, uh, I received the uh, program for the right. festival, which was a four day festival running Wednesday through Saturday. And uh, as I looked at the lineup, yeah. there was almost a hundred musicians scheduled oh, to perform wow. over those four days and only one time per you know uh per person w- were they performing uh mm-hmm. you know so it wasn't anyway they they would have um you know totally different lineups of course uh each day and these were 
living legends of jazz. I mean, wow. living, including Lionel Hampton, of course, uh, young lions of, of jazz at that time, right? And um, uh, and it, it was incredible. I said, oh my God, you know? And um, so uh, w- when I arrived there, um, you know, I mean, I was so wired, just so wired, because not only were they have did they have these musicians, but uh, uh, worldwide known uh, jazz journalists of the time, you know, and, wow. and some of these journalists had reviewed my work before, so I got a chance to meet them face to face. And one of my favorites was um, uh, the great Leonard Feather. And for people who don't know him, just Google Leonard Feather. You know, Leonard, Fe- and, uh, Leonard Feather. Yeah, Leonard Feather, and uh, and we became friends, and we used to call each other um, the uh, out front dates. You know, that's what we <laughs> how we referred because he would come grab me, D. Let's go out front and listen to this this person, you know, this group or whatever, you know. So anyway, um, uh, to make a long story short, here's my first my first uh, uh, my performance because there was only one, and uh, over the course of the four days, they only they had um, seven vocalists. And on my night, which was Thursday night, it the other vocalist was Al Jarreau. So wow. Al Jarreau, Google wow. Al Coach. Jarreau. Oh, no, I don't need to Google that. <laughs> I know Al Jarreau. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyway, um, uh, so I mean, I was just so wired. You know, I mean, wow. it's like I had a fountain of adrenaline just flowing, bursting off from my top of my head, you know. And um, so when it was getting, for some reason, the organizer put me and Al back to back at the very end of uh, the concert that night. Yeah, that was weird. But anyway, wow. so uh, now there were so many musicians each night that the concerts lasted a minimum of three hours, a minimum of three wow. hours. And it was inside, this was at the University of Idaho. So the, the, the concert was held in the Kibbe Dome, which is their their athletic dome. They play football oh. in the dome. So there so were thousands huge. of people in the audience, you know, and what they would have, they had a huge stage that they would build with, uh, you know, on the sides of the stage, there were the, I, I, the, the curtains, these velvet black curtains used to be, they were at least 15 feet high, right? So, and behind the stage there, which was curtained off, there was another area that they had for the musicians and, and staff and all that kind of stuff. They had three RVs back there that the musicians could come, put their coats, their instrument cases, just hang out, whatever. And then they had a bistro that they created, you know, big round tables that everybody could have food that they had back there. Then they had big screens so you could watch the concert, a whole nother set of speakers, you know, that you could hear. And it was uh, an incredible hang if, if uh, as, I'm sure people can imagine. So I'm getting to the point now. Here we go. So, <laughs> <laughs> Keep keeping on. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, it, it was just, you know, we had heard all of this incredible music, you know, and this thing was very well organized, you know, wow. so it, it, it was kind of like, like, like this kind of thing, you know, there was no downtime, you know, just enough for, for people to get off the stage onto right. the stage. You know, so it was great. So just before I went on, you know, like I said, the adrenaline was like a, like a electric. Oh yeah. And, you know, because my instrument is internal, you don't really want to be trying to sing when you got that kind of adrenaline, you know, you want it kind of like a a, a a river, you know, a little, little brook, you know, (laughs) And where a, 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 a cherry blossom falls down, you know, on uh-huh. onto a little, little stream here, and it just kind of swirls, you know, and that's where you want <laughs> the adrenaline, right? I feel like I'm at a con- one of your concerts right now, the way how you just <laughs> showing it. <laughs> okay, so I knew I had to bring it down. You know, right. you want adrenaline, but you want it at that little that little pace of that you know that that kind of pace not you know so what I did was I just stood at the on the on the side of the stage down you had to go up five stairs to get to the top of the stage and I was just there and there's people you know buzzing around me and stuff I just stopped closed my eyes and I said okay D what do you want 
Wow. And I said, I just want to, um, uh, to be able to touch people, you know, and, 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 and make a difference, a positive difference in people's lives here mm-hmm. tonight. And just yes. as I said that, literally, the word catalyst came to mind. So I said, wow, that's it. I desire to be a catalyst Jesus. for source, for source. My source, I can call it God, love, all that is, the universe, my higher self, or nothing. Doesn't matter. Mm. But I want it to be, I want to be a catalyst for source to touch everybody 360 degrees in this building in ways that only source knows they need to be touched. That's wow. all I want to do. I don't care wow. about anything else. Okay. Wow. And at that moment, I felt as though I just kind of lifted up off the ground, you know, about six inches, you know, and at that time I, I heard the, 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 uh, organizer, you know, starting my introduction. Right. And I felt like I just kind of swirled on over to the stage and up the stairs. And all of a sudden I'm, I'm there in the middle of the stage. And, uh, you know, we, I only did three songs because, uh, somebody like Al Jarreau got to do four, right? Some of the musicians that flew all the way from New York or Russia or wherever did one, did the whole trip. That's how organized and how many musicians they had. So, um, uh, I'm going to try to make this, this shorter if, if I can. Um, so I, I said, I did my first song. I went to the piano to play my second song, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, at the time I didn't consider myself a, a linear jazz pianist. You know, I grew up doing gospel music and I learned some jazz chords, you know, working yeah. on it. But just when I was supposed to take the solo, Lionel Hampton came up the stage with his by uh, his mallets in his hand, and he took the solo on the on the uh, this this song, which I said, "Thank you, Jesus." Okay, <laughs> so I got up, did my third song, uh-huh. and uh, at the end of that song, I felt the, a, a sensation that is like, like you know, it was just, it made me kind of just jump like that. And all of a sudden I was really, really conscious of where I was and the adrenaline came back. I think I was, I had been having an out of body experience. I'm not sure, but anyway, and I I said, Oh my God, you know, and all I want to do is get off the stage. So I go over to my left and uh, to, to get off the stage, but then, then there's, there's Lionel there and, and the organizer, and they had a, a, a bouquet of, of uh, roses for me. You know, they did that for wow. all. Right? Yeah. And um, so I did that, you know, and I, I'm just thinking off the stage, get off the stage, you know, so I'm almost trotting off way and the stage is huge, you know, so I'm yeah. way over there and at the top of the stairs was Al Jarreau, arms extended said d d daniels d daniels go back go back and i look back and there's lionel beckoning back so i go out there and i realize the audience is standing up they're clapping they're whistling they're calling my name and my knees are shaking at this point right (laughs) (laughs) wow and i you know it it was just like a flood of of i don't know energy so uh, i got back to my room at the end of the evening and I, I sat sat there in the chair and I said, what the heck was that? You know, and a little voice that I've learned to listen to from mm-hmm. the, always about right, right about here, just a little mm-hmm. quiet voice says, what you asked for, you got it way more than you could have created on your own, you know. And from that point on, I never, ever perform without going there. And going there is just a thought away. And what I Ooh. did was by stating my intention, hmm. I focused all of my energy into that moment, into that moment, because the moment is all we have, not the moment hmm. before. That leads to depression if you want to hang back there, not the moment hmm. ahead. That leads to anxiety because you're trying to figure out what the heck's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the moment, in the moment, it's where we have our power. That's where our our, our God resides, you know. And um, uh, yeah, so that's what I take with me. And then, of course, I realized, well, I can do that when I'm, I can go there when I'm teaching. 
you know, because all mm-hmm. I want to do is is be that catalyst, you know, yes. and, and for for love. And then I realized yeah. well, I can go there anywhere, anytime, you know, whenever mm-hmm. I want to. Right. Fact, I would like to reside there, you know, but of course, you know, you uh, you got challenges, you got stuff you got to sure learn, you know, and. The, the whole cancer thing, you know, actually, as crazy as this may sound, it was actually a blessing for me because of Come all on. that I got out of it. Come you know, on. Including this this CD, right? And um, so I, I, oh, I understand I understand why I had cancer. You know, I understand that thoroughly. You know, so it, it was a blessing and for me that I can uh, offer to bless others that's what it's all about gary and that's my story in a nutshell <laughs> well <laughs> that's you need more than a nutshell for that <laughs> but you know in our early conversation one of the first things you said to me mm-hmm. you want to help people that's yeah. what you said to me mm-hmm. and i took that to heart and now you come with this word catalyst so a catalyst that's what a catalyst does yeah. you know you you asked for it and god gave it to you instantaneously yeah. yeah and it came down on you so powerful that you didn't even feel it it was like how can i pull it a mild sedative <laughs> to make you numb <laughs> to make you numb to the crowd and then all of a sudden when it, when it was coming off it was like oh oh lord what's going on and yeah. you get roses it's like oh no we ain't done you gotta go back out there because what the people are seeing wasn't the daniel they were seeing the holy ghost <laughs> No, that's what they were seeing, <laughs> yeah. right? And so, but the, here's the great thing that you realize that it wasn't you. Yeah. Because you realize and, and it made you humble at the same time. Yeah. Now, well, I, 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 I've, I learned something else. Okay. What did you learn? Okay. Here, here's another story for, for you. Um, the year after that, so now we're talking about 1993. Sure. I had the opportunity, my husband and I had the opportunity to go to Japan. We were invited there. And uh, one of the uh, um, outings that they <clears throat> planned for mm-hmm. us was a trip to uh, Kyoto, where um, the, uh, uh, the, the Zen temple is, right? Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the, the, these, these friends of ours, because they became very, very dear friends of ours, um, uh, had organized uh, uh, a sitting with the the headmaster. Wow. Okay. So, and there there were other people there with us that that were from Washington State. They were professors and so forth. So I don't know. There there maybe may have been eight of us in the group. You know. So you know everybody's talking and stuff, and I I'm just sitting there listening and watching it, and I, I'm watching the master. You know, and he, and he's just very zen <laughs> you know just yeah. sitting there quietly and not doing a, a lot of talking but but you know he's present you know yeah. and so forth so uh, something this this little boy's here kept saying <laughs> you, know, you ought to ask him about that experience that you had at the the hampton festival last year mm-hmm. you know and and I'm and, and I'm saying, oh no, I I, I don't know, I don't know, you know, this is they're talking about educational stuff and uh, you know, but uh, it got louder, you know. So I I ended up asking, and I I it was like a I, I condensed that whole story to you uh, in, probably in three minutes. I made it three minutes. I don't know how wow. I did that, except I just said, okay, I'm gonna open my mouth, and I'm gonna trust that the right thing comes out, okay? Right. So, um, and all the man said at the end of my little story was, and I'm talking about, you know, I, I, I told him about being a catalyst for source, you know, for God, mm-hmm. for love, you know. Uh, he, uh, the only thing he said was, you are the source. Oh! I wasn't there, but I got the message. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't say anything because in that moment, okay, mm. I knew exactly what he meant. You know, I knew exactly what he meant. And I took that with me. I take it with me 
I know who I am. I mm-hmm. have amnesia every now and then because I get caught up, you know, in the world, you know, but uh, thank God for all of the experiences that I've had because I remember quicker <laughs> of who I really am and can bring myself back into the moment. Because right. when I forget right. who I am, it means I'm either back there or trying to go up that way, you know? Right. So, uh, but like I said, it's a challenge. I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, it's well, a challenge. <laughs> well, I, would, I wouldn't think it's easy. Nothing, everything what you just said is not easy. You went through, you have to go through something. We all go through something to uh, get to the spot where we're supposed to be, to find yeah, out what we're called so, yeah. to be. Yeah. And guess what? You're not from Japan, but you happen to be in Japan and you're sitting with a, with a master or whatever. And he says, well, you're the source. Did you ever think you were the source? No. No. You never thought you were the source, no. but <laughs> but that, I bet you that's, that voice was always telling you that, but you weren't tuned in. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what it meant. You know, sometimes, sometimes you know, we have experiences where right. we're gifted with experiences. Oh. We're blessed with wow. experience that try to tell us, remind us of who we really are, you know, and uh, you know, most of us are dealing with um, self-esteem issues, right. worthiness issues. Yes. You no, know, I mean, we, that, it's the way of the world, you know, right. and I think part of being here is um, to, I can say learn, or I can say remember who we are under any circumstance, any circumstance. Mm, and some true. people might say, what the heck is she talking about? You know, well, you know, if, 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 no, if people don't get it, that's, that's fine. Cause I hope to God people do get it for themselves, not for anybody else. This is a very right. issue, you know, a very personal topic. Right. So, and it, it's not about religion. I, I'm not talking about none of that. Okay. I'm talking about yeah. your spirit you know, yeah. your soul, what you feel in your heart is right, is truth, is honesty, but all based on love. Ah, love is on. the answer. You That's know, the ingredient. If they come from love, then you need right. to check it out, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway. Wow. That's, uh, <laughs> Dee Daniels, that is an amazing, amazing story. Nothing's boring about your story. I mean, it's very uplifting. Um, it's the essence of what this podcast is about because you're talking about the heart. You're talking about love. That's the key component. Yeah. I, could, I can say the source, the catalyst. I mean, those words, they, they just, uh, they just get me started. Get me no praise break. I can't do it. I'll get my, I'll break up the stuff in the house. <laughs> no praise break, <laughs> but uh, it's amazing. And you know what? I truly believe that. Your music is touching people and it's going to touch people even more at this time, especially when people listen to this, this podcast that we had today. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, God is going to use you in ways you never imagined. You ain't done. Well, I, I don't think so, but you know, I, I'm, I, I'm willing as long as I'm around. So, well, you no, know. well, listen, Father God, thank you for keeping her around because I just got on track with her again. <laughs> yeah, so we we are far from done. We're barely getting started. This is just a warm up, if I can say that. You ready? You're the catalyst now. I need a catalyst on my team. <laughs> I, I need another source. I got to stay plugged in. <laughs> yeah, you better be plugged. Yeah, plugged in. Plug in as long as you, and when when if it, if you should unplug at any time that's okay you know really yes yes if you should unplug because i mean we're we're in this this reality here you know and, and there's a lot of input a lot going on yeah. you know, and it's 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 uh you know you get off track sometimes but you yeah. have a choice true to stay unplugged uh-huh or to plug back in well i'm, I'm so, staying plugged in you got a, You got a choice, you know, and, and we, we that's one of the gifts is, 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 will, you know, free will, choice, whatever, you know, and, and, uh, um, uh, and, and yes, you know, for, for the people who say, 
like I said, what the heck is she talking about? Yes, we are all born into different circumstances, you know, and uh, and we have challenges and, and, you know, just even now, you know, some of the things going on, you say, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, you know, uh, how can anybody be plugged in with that? Well, it's it's a choice. It's a like I said, it's a very, very personal thing. You know, yes. that you can carry hate or yeah. you can carry love and the love starts w- for yourself. Amen. Um, and then, you know, if, if, if you're struggling with that, that's OK, too, because there's no judgment. True. There's no judgment. True. There's no criticism. When I figured that stuff out, Gary, I became a free person. Mm. You know, I became, wow. free. you know, wow. that's why I say, you know, it's, it hurts me. It pains me to see people doing the things they do. You True. know, I mean, like, so I, I can't feed myself that stuff every day. I True. can't feed myself, you know, because the, the one of the things I, I, I think people may not be aware of is everything is energy, you know, uh, you put enough energy into something, you, you decide, you give yourself an intention, you put enough energy into it, which means you're going to be moving literally uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, mentally, uh, uh, emotionally in that direction. The, 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 the law says it has to manifest, you know. Right. So when you, when we, what we don't realize sometimes, I think, is by watching all of this stuff, mm-hmm every day and we know about these last four years you know sure. oh God, every day and it's so available now sure. you we all get worked up we get angry you know we get whatever you know sure. and th- but it works the other it works all the way around for for something that's loving something that's hateful evil for for joy for d- 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 sorrow for everything but it's we get worked up well that is energy so actually what you're doing is you're feeding, right. you know, the thing that's working you up, True. you know? So, uh, and when you, you know, if, when, when energy things are fed, they grow. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you focus on, you know, you're, you're giving, you're, you're sending out energy, whether you understand that, know it, believe it or not, you know? doesn't mm-hmm. matter. It's happening anyway. You can get into to science and all that kind of stuff and find out about energy and how that works, you know. Um, but j- just look at your own life, you know, the things that you're really motivated for and, and that brings you joy, you know, that manifests. The things that you are really motivated for uh, at this, in a negative sense, it brings you negativity. Like attracts like. It's you know everybody says opposites oh, attract. No, but it's like attracts like. So when you're feeding yourself crap, you know huh. day in and day out, you know and negativity that that just well you're feeding that whatever the source is, you know. Sure. So um, it's all about you know feeding yourself what you want, what you truly desire. You know, uh, and then you give that you give, you know, because whatever you're giving the skip my hand back far enough, whatever you're giving, you give somebody something. Well, that is the same position as receiving. Ah, uh, ah, uh, true. So true. True. So it's the true. Same position, but it's your choice mm. what you're going to give. You know, mm. it's your choice. At any moment, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, being this way forever. No, it's about right now, because that's all we have. You know, the wow. next moment is not promised, as we see every day in just the, the killings. True. True. Uh, you know, I not know. all mm-hmm. the other things, right? You know. So, uh, no, my whole thing is to put some joy Mm-hmm. love and God has blessed me to be able to do it through my music Amen. You know, and, and my story, you know, stories and, and all of that kind of stuff. And uh, so that, that's what I have. And it's not to say, uh, like I said, I, I, I'm very, as you know, Jerry, I'm very transparent. No, no, you're, 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 you're real. I, yeah, right. I'm very real transparent. From, real from 15 seconds into the conversation or even 20. <laughs> 
<laughs> he said, now look, you call my name wrong twice. It's strike three. Let's get it ready. Get your homework done. I said, I got you, Miss D. Daniels, in capital letters. I ain't going to forget. No, you're so real. You're so real. And I, I celebrate you. And I, I validate what you, what you share from your heart. It's so real. There's nothing tainted about that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that experience, I, I felt like I was back there with you when you're on that stage, walking away with your flowers. And I said, oh, no, get Al Jarreau said, go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that, I, I, yeah. And that's God celebrating you. He was prepping uh -huh. you for such a time as this. So you could never say you weren't celebrated. You were right. celebrated, and he's not done. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not done. You no, know, it's he... not. It's not done. And uh, yeah, I. You know. Wow. This just being being free. You know, there's oh Lord have mercy, sweet Jesus. You know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, you, are you getting lost in the spirit, my sister? Are you getting lost in the cloud just at the well, thought I'm about? Just it? Grateful. <laughs> amen, I'm grateful. Amen. Amen. For the whole trip, this whole journey, uh, I'm yes, grateful. Every, yes. every every inch of it, every piece of it, it, it has yeah. made me who I am. Right. God now. Bless, yes. Right. So. You know what? And the great thing about it is that you're not. You're not keeping it to yourself. You're sharing it. And that's one of the great... But that's, that's what, what we're supposed to do, I think. That's what know? we're supposed to do, yeah. But not everybody does that. No, remember no, remember the position. You Remember the high position you showed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Receive it and keep it. Yeah. Give it. Yeah. Some people don't give to help other people live. Yeah. They just keep it to themselves. But there's yeah. a saying that um I heard some time ago, whatever you keep inside, you lose forever. Hmm. But if you plant that seed into somebody else, you can only hope that they'll share to others and create a current, a vine, build some roots to continue this journey of helping other people get the same thing that you got. That's mm -hmm. how we keep it going. But mm -hmm. if we just keep it to ourselves, it's not worth anything. No. We've just we've just killed the root. Yeah. You're not supposed to kill the root. You're supposed to keep it going on like a relay race, pat that, pass that baton. Yeah. It doesn't matter how fast you can run as long as you pass it and we're going to keep going. Because it's not yeah. about winning alone. It's about winning together. Yeah. That's my theory. Yeah. It's yeah. better that way. Yeah. So, yeah. wow, wow, wow. You have blessed me like you don't even know and a whole bunch of people. Not just me. You know, I didn't tell, I didn't show you this one. I say it's not about I fit. It's about we fit. This is my W. Yeah. We yeah. got to win. It's about we. It's not yeah. about I, it's not about me, it's about we. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Unity in the community brings the opportunity mm -hmm. to lift both zones up, not just one, but two, yeah. and then four. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's, that's it. Great. What do you think about that, Ms. D? <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. I, I, I'm just on the track, I'm back on the track. <laughs> you know, so we, we give God thanks and praise for this amazing, amazing time together. Wow, wow, wow. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. Well, you know, you. I'd, love, I'd love to have your autograph, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Virtual autograph. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I did that on purpose. Virtual autograph. <laughs> that means everybody else is getting it. Y'all can have a piece. I share because I care. <laughs> <laughs> this was an amazing, amazing time. I want to thank you. God bless you for giving me some of your awesome time. And oh wait, just a second, you got some organic eating crows, right? You know, you told me you feed those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go. You're gonna go there, huh? Yeah, well, you know, well, look, okay, I'll uh, go with you. I'll go with you. you. you, you I ain't scared. Look, so people, where, I ain't where, 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 where this D lives, there's some crows, right? But these crows keep on showing up. Now these are not your ordinary crows. <laughs> These crows eat organic food. <laughs> so, I'm not feeding my baby crows. No. <laughs> baby crows. <laughs> now, I heard about us liking chicken, which I call yard bird. <laughs> but I never thought about organic eating crows. <laughs> and I bet you these Only crows the don't tell the other crows that they're, 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 who are eating roadkill that they're eating <laughs> organic food. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm telling you in 2021, organic oh. eating crows. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you didn't hear, you heard it here first. <laughs> I'm <laughs> for the call. <laughs> oh, yeah. Encouragement Factory. 
talking right. about organic eating gross. I know, I know. Courtesy of Miss D. Daniels. <laughs> I love them. You know, my, my daughter has grown and gone. You know, she's she has her life. You know, uh, we don't have any any cats anymore, you know, so I, I had to do something. I had to take care of something, right? You know, <laughs> Besides uh, my husband. I, 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 and, uh, I call that yeah. heart work, Miss D. Heart work, man. <laughs> now, you know, <laughs> you're really serving. You're, you're not keeping your serving organic <laughs> food too. black crows. Uh, damn. Yeah. They're smart. You know, they're very smart. Well, hey, if I know, me, hey, remember what you said. They know what they're eating healthy is all about. That's right. <laughs> Mom was feeding us well. We don't got to eat the roadkill. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, thank you so much, man. Wow. You will. You know, I just want to remind people, or or not remind them. Oh, yes. Handles. Let's uh -huh. talk about that CD that's coming out again. Let's rehearse that. And also, where can they search? What platforms is the music going to be on? Uh, on? On May 7th, it'll be out on all platforms. All worldwide. platforms. Yeah, all platforms. Okay. Uh, and also go to, um, on that date, you can also go to my uh, website uh, there, which is my name, which is right. D, uh, D Daniel. So it's D, D E E at D Daniels dot Dot no, com. That, no, that, wait, what am I telling you? <laughs> the website is www.ddaniels.com. Okay, great. Ddaniels.com is just my name. And you're on YouTube as well? Yeah, all you have to do is to do a search on YouTube. Okay. And uh, actually, you can hear uh, some of the music. Oh, one of, one of the, um, uh, the first single right. from, from the... Um, the, from the album, because this is the uh, uh, the promise uh, deluxe edition. There are three bonus tracks on there. Okay. So and that's what's being released on the on uh, May seventh. Um, but one of the tracks, uh, it was the first sing single, which is one of the bonus tracks, is called uh, "Let Freedom Ring," the ballad of of John Lewis. John Lewis, yes. And it's a song that I wrote uh, when I don't know, uh, just for people who may not know. Uh, U.S. Representative John Lewis was um, uh, um, that last year, right? Incredible year? man. Yeah, he was a uh, civil rights leader. Civil rights, that's right. Yeah, he was there with Martin Luther King right. back in the day, and uh, 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 and the on the at the march on Washington, and right. he was just twenty three, I think, then, and delivered a, a, a rousing speech. And this is all online. So John Lewis is is his name, and. Um, you know, I, I had so much respect for him and all that he's done because he's he's been in the House of Representatives in the States for I don't a know. long time. Yeah. So anyway, um, two days before he passed, he passed on July 17th uh, last year, 2020, mm -hmm. two days before he passed because he, he knew he was leaving. He wrote uh, an incredible essay and uh, with instructions that this essay be published uh, at his funeral, which was July 30th. Well, on that day, you know, all of these news agencies, uh, online agencies published excerpts and uh, the New York Times had the right to publish the whole thing, the whole essay first, you know. So I just happened to come across um, uh, one of the news agencies, I don't even know, remember which one, that had um, five sentences from this essay that they excerpted. And I, I read those and immediately tears were streaming down my eyes. They were so, just those five sentences, mm. so powerful, you know, and it brought up memories of my dealings with racism, you know, over my lifetime and and just the state of humanity and, and all of that kind of stuff, you know. And I was so moved that I instantly went to my piano and I wrote, this song using four of those sentences. Wow. And, um, the, the fourth one, uh, the fourth sentence I actually uh, turned into what, uh, what is known as the chorus of the song. So I added a few words to that, but, but everything else is his. And I call it Let Freedom Ring, the Ballad of John yes. Lewis. And um, we, we made a video of it and so forth. Uh, I watched it. Yeah, oh, yeah. And um, I'm so happy with the way it came out because 
you know, it, 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 to, to make this tribute to him, to share his truth based on, on his words. Um, and, uh, you know, I had, a, I had help with, uh, from a, a good friend of mine, uh, Dave Pierce, uh, who did the orchestration of the song. Mm-hmm. And, you know, all of the musicians that were involved, all of everybody, you know, the, the engineers, the marketing and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's on YouTube. And I, I'd like to encourage people to take a, a look and listen to that. So it's called, once again, if you go to YouTube, uh, type in my name, D. Daniels, and then let freedom ring. And before you can t- type that in, the whole thing comes up, you know, and um yeah, and we we had the the blessings of uh, uh, Miles uh, John Miles Lewis, who uh, is uh, John Lewis's uh, son, right? And the estate to to use, mm-hmm. and we also used some uh, video of of uh, one of um, John Lewis's John Lewis's speeches, right? So it it was a, a labor of love, and um, I, I hope people view it and it, it and it, it it makes a difference in in in, in their lives in, in right. that moment at least you know right. so uh yeah so yeah my website ddaniels.com and looking at that video and maybe some of the other stuff i've done amazing 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 this was a blessing keep keeping on but please don't get too caught up now. And if you're going up, call me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So we'll be in contact. And thank you again. Can't thank you enough. This was a blessing, a blessing, a blessing.